Hello everyone, I'm Tricone. Welcome to this installation video, well, I guess tutorial, for the Schematica mod 1.7.10. Um, now, first things first, for any mod, you're going to need Forge. So if you guys are complete, completely new to all kinds of modding for Minecraft, uh, for any mods, you're going to need Forge. And so that's why I'm here on this uh, Forge page. And of course, all links will be in the description uh, for you guys to use. And so what we're going to want to do is here at Forge, we're going to want to click the latest download, Windows Installer. So we'll click that. Wait for this to come up. So with this, don't click anything. Just don't click anything because uh, there's a lot of malware here. It's going to say download ready. Do not click any of this. Only thing that you click is skip. And then I'll bring up the download for you. And then get rid of that so you don't actually click anything wrong. And then we have the Schematica mod. Um, but first things first. We are going to need the Lutri <laughs> I came in paralysis. Lutrius core, Lut Lunatrius core, uh, which is needed for uh, the running of Schematica. It's absolutely 100% required. <laughs> you need it. Uh, and so what you're going to want to do is find, well, we're going to need the 1.7.10. So when we come to here, I'm going to want to scroll down till we find the most recent 1.7.10 version, universal.jar. And we'll come over here and, well, actually this one, <laughs> this one's the most recent one. Uh, so we find the most recent one and click download. This will take us to this page here. And we'll simply wait till the download begins. It should be fairly uh, soon, there it is. Now click keep and there we have that uh, mod. And then we come to Schematica here, hit files, and do pretty much exactly the same thing. We want to go down all the way till we find the most recent version of 1.7.10. Actually, it looks like it's the next page. So um, <laughs> let me see if, let's see here, view all. Uh, so click view all there uh, for all recent files because we want to view all the files because we need to find the 1.7.10. So this is all the way to 1.9. We gotta go through 1.8 and there it is right there. The most recent version of Schematica for 1.7.10. And we simply click download and it will pop up to this page here. And in three, two, one, and then it should be downloading. And of course we click keep again and it's all good. All right then. so. Uh, these should all be in your download folder. Just go to downloads, copy all these. I guess we can just cut and, well, yeah, we just move them over, I guess, <laughs> onto the desktop that we can see what we're doing a little bit better. So uh, we're gonna need to uh, double click on Forge here, hit yes, and this should pop up here. Um, and just click okay. Because there's nothing you need to change, just click OK. It will download a bunch of stuff and say it's successfully installed into the launcher. And what we're going to want to do is open the launcher here, wait for it to open, and then we should see that our version of Forge, yep, right there, is the most recent one. Now, but what we're going to what we're going to want to do is because I like to separate my mods that way it's all organized um, very nicely and precisely. So what we're going to want to do is go to installations, click New. Let's rename this uh, Schematica. You can rename it whatever you want. Uh, but the most important part would be versions here. So you're gonna wanna click that up and then go all the way down to the Forge list, which is gonna be at the very bottom. And as you can see, our most recent one is this one, the 1.7.10, which is what we want. Click on that and that'll be the right version for Schematica. Now, another important aspect that I like to do, like I said, to keep everything organized, is to use a custom directory. So what, what you guys wanna do is go to browse and then scroll down till you see my, .minecraft. Click that and click okay. That'll bring up to, basically this will make everything in our Schematica mod um, game, it'll all go to .minecraft. But we don't want that because then it all gets jumbled and messy. What we wanna do is create a custom directory by simply doing a dash and you guys can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it Schematica, just because it's the mod that we're using. So it's going to be dot or slash Schematica. We hit create, and then we go all the way down to where it says Schematica or the name of whatever we have. 
and then we simply click play and it will go through um, all of its installations and once it's done it should pop up um, the actual Minecraft game now that's not the finished product because what that does is it creates the directory for us to put our mods into it creates files uh, for us for mods to be added uh, and so I guess I'll see you guys there at the end of, of this installation here because it takes it takes a little bit of uh, time. All right, so our um, Forge is installed. As we can see, three mods are active, and those mods are, of course, all the Forge mods. So we can click ki uh, Quick Game. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to come over here to this Windows Start button, right-click it, click Run, and this will pop up. Percentage App Data. Well, actually, you guys have to type this in. I just have it here as a default. But you guys have to type in percentage, app data, percentage, and then click OK. And what pops up is this here. So as you can see, all of our Minecraft games are here and whatnot. What you're going to want to do is find the directory of the that you just created. Uh, so whatever you called it, .minecraft slash whatever. Uh, as you can see here, there's my schematica. So we simply double-click that. Go into mods and drag in schematica and lutrinus core and then we can simply click um <laughs> we can simply exit out of that go back to the minecraft launcher and click play for schematica and it should come up actually fairly quickly um it should be fairly quick because schematica isn't exactly a very large file it's actually pretty small which is kind of nice um but it should pop up here and we should see that it has five mods active it had if it has five mods active that means we did it right because we got two mods installed plus the three of forge and so that should be proper but if we do if we did do this right in the installation here uh well with the loading of the game it should say installing schematica or lutrinus core and if it says any of those things that means we did it right most likely <laughs> but just to be sure that it doesn't crash or or do anything weird just have to see it through to the very very end but as you can see there it did say schematica which is very good lutrinous core it's saying uh, textures which those are just normal minecraft textures and it should pop up five mods active that's what we want go to mods here it says lutrinous core and schematica both of course can be configured for all of these different things uh, i mean if you guys actually want to get in there and tweak stuff and whatnot but um you guys can just leave that as is and then play the game as it is of course uh if you go to controls here it will have like a schematica thing for controls and you can change these whatever you want for load schematica manipulate it and save those are the two <laughs> those are the three most useful um controls that you're going to want to configure but uh, I'll leave you guys doing that uh, yourselves. But that's it. That's how you install the Schematica mod for Minecraft 1.7.10. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be, sure, please be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'm Tuco. God bless. And I'll see you guys next time.